could do it, but I was never very good at it. So, <laughs> uh, boy, it sure does run good. this 1949 Chevy truck out of a storage shed. It's been there for 30 years and it hasn't ran since 1985. Since then we got the original engine running, put new brakes, tires, and even shined up the paint. Today we're going to go pick up Donnie, the original owner's son, and give him a long-awaited promised ride in his dad's truck that he hasn't ridden in in almost 35 years. I've been asked several times how much did I pay for this truck. Stay to the end of the video and Donnie and I are going to talk about it. Hey buddy, how are you? I'm Has good. that got a crack in the window? It does, because it wouldn't latch. It would only, it would do about this number, and I kept shutting and kept shutting it, and, and then it and, broke. And, and it busted. Broke. Yep. I wonder, if, can that be replaced? Yeah. Yep. I, I found new glass for it, but I really want to find an old glass because if you look, it's got like tiny bubbles in it, just imperfections in it. Yeah, it looks good. Well, thank you. It's uh, a got lot it. different than it was. Got her shining, don't you? Yeah, we just took some rubbing compound to it and uh, buffed it out. Really? Yeah. But when I hit it with the buffer, uh, the paint that had your dad's name on it came off, and I had, I had already decided it was staying. And uh, you know, and it, I hit it with that buffer and stripped it right off. And so it, it disappoints me a little bit. The other side was already off. I don't know if it just wore off from, you know, time. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. But we put some new tires on it. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Put some. Uh, went with bias ply tires. Uh, mower retire we got those from him and I, I debated you know am i gonna go radial tires some new radials or am i gonna put bias plies on it and i wanted to go you know like it originally had so we put those bias ply tires on it were those other tires any good uh -uh, no they were no they were bad they were bad when i got well, this thing it's, up, probably, it's been sitting out the there you know for a long time yeah. so, I but i did have them to put them on just to right because the others were really bad you know and they put those on and yeah and, uh, i could i got up to about 45 mile an hour with it and the truck was just shaking and oh, i no. thought man well you didn't want that no That's it was a little sure. unsafe yeah. Boy, hey you put, what, put seat covers on there yeah. I bought a couple seat covers and we actually spray glued it on there so that way it fit to the seat and yeah cool and yeah so cool. and why don't y'all come in I want to okay. I want to show her that what my wife bought me for my okay. birthday let's check it out so it turned out really nice mm -hmm. yeah I thought it did I thought it really looks good they've yeah. done a heck of a job on that yeah that's for sure that's cool did you ever tell your daughters that you sold that no Oh. <laughs> well, let's go for a ride. <laughs> we rebuilt the carburetor. I put new plugs and wires, coil, um, cap and rotor, points and condenser. Put some exhaust on it. I put over a thousand miles on this truck. So you have already? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We was really? driving her every day. So holy man! the daily driver. Huh? It became the daily driver. <laughs> well, that's cool. Well, okay. that's probably good to drive it. Yeah, it looks good. Man, that thing, sh on this side, it really shines yeah, on this it side. Does. Another well, thing I wanted to tell you with oh, is uh, yeah, I told you that uh, probably the furthest this thing had been drove was uh, Sedalia. Yeah. yeah, but my brother, when he seen it on YouTube, he said no. He said probably the furthest it, it was drove is Warrensburg. Oh, okay. He said because Dad took me to took my brother to to school hmm. in Warrensburg, so uh, it it didn't get drove much. I mean, out of town. Yeah. It, it, it still had a lot of miles on it, but you know, it's 49. Dad lived till 
1985, so, and this was the only thing he had. Your mom never had a car or anything? Nope. Did she know how to drive? Nope. No? She never did drive. Dad always, and she worked out the apple orchard out there at Bell's. She worked there for 20 years, hmm. and Dad took her to work in the morning. Went and got her up an evening yeah. for 20 years. Well, let's take a ride. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Yeah. Do you remember how to drive a three on the tree? <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. Did you? Do you? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I drove it a little bit. Did you ever get it up further than 45? I've had it to almost 60. Oh my goodness, wow, you were burning rubber then, bro. Oh, oh I've taken it down I-70 a couple times. Have you really? Have you really? Yeah. Holy mackerel. Yeah, it's a almost a death trap out there. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I told her, I said, I bet you it's uh, not on 70. Does <laughs> the horn work? It does. I'll tell you who to honk at okay. if I see anybody. Oh. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we know about everybody in the neighborhood. Well, my golly, it rides pretty darn good. It drives, it rides good yeah. too. Them tires do make a difference, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, and it actually drives really well. You know, when I'm going, you know, 45, 50 mile an hour down the highway, you know, I can let go of the wheel and it doesn't really? dart off one way or the yeah. other. That's good. I could do it, but I was never very good. Fixing that up, take care of it. it means a lot to yeah. you know me and my brother both. You know, there's no sense in it sitting someplace, you know, where it can't be enjoyed. That's for sure. Well, I appreciate it. You know, it didn't take a whole lot to get it going, and you know, I was really amazed how how little it actually took to get it running. Well, when you was getting ready to pick it up, I rolled it out of that garage, and I thought, man, that's good. Yeah. At least. It's, uh, it's not stuck, yeah. you know. And yeah, I kind of was uh, assuming that, you know, the, the brakes were going to be so locked up. Yeah. But it did. It rolled, you know, it rolled right out of there. Oh, oh, good. Yeah, and when uh, when we did the brakes, I had a friend of mine, Justin, do the brakes on it. He said the wheel bearings looked great. So tell me one of your most fond memories of your dad in the truck and the family. Well, I'll tell you one. Okay, we had a split for your house, and we had a fireplace down in downstairs in the family room. Well, it was cold, and we were trying to get it going. And we were, I was stuffing paper in it, and I didn't know it, but he was stuffing paper in it. And we caused a flu on fire. And, and he used to be a volunteer fireman. Well, we embarrassed, we called the fire department. And his dad, who lives over on Maple, and his mom beat the fire engine there. Oh, in this truck? Yes, in this truck. Yes. We looked out, and there he was in the fire engine. I said, well, that because they had a scanner, they listened to all that. I said, dad beat the fire engine here. <laughs> oh, it's funny. 
probably the most fun that we had was, you know, when they would go somewhere, they'd stick us in the back in the bed of the truck, you know, and it, it was all right. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Except for when it rained, and they'd all yeah. have to scrunch up. Then we'd the have to gang up in there and, yeah, the cab. But you were pretty young whenever your dad bought the truck? Well, let's uh, see. Yeah, he bought it in 49, and I was Six. born in 43. Six. So, and you said that it was on the showroom floor, so he didn't order anything It was already? No, it was sitting, uh, he, he bought it right off the showroom floor, mm -hmm. which is why it was. Yeah, so it was it a special model that, you know, that they had it inside? You know, I, I don't know uh, really what the deal was. You know, I, he just... Uh, Said he was going to go buy him a truck and come home that day and yeah and uh, at the 49 he said I bought it right off the Freak Moore Chevrolet showroom. Mm -hmm. There you are, right down here. Yeah, I appreciate you taking this for no a ride. Kid. You're welcome. No kid. Fine. of the videos people have been asking me how much did I get for the truck you should have seen some of the chancy offers he was offered we go away how much did I pay you for the truck two two thousand mm -hmm. dollars and I have I put about fifteen hundred dollars into it to get it running and that was tires and all the ignition parts and uh, brakes and exhaust and uh, you know so thirty five hundred bucks and just well, just tell them that Smoking you know deal. you snooze, you lose, yeah. and I wasn't <laughs> snoozing. So yeah. hey, everybody's happy. We're happy to see it going up down the road because it wasn't doing any good. Yeah, there. that's a cool plate you got on there. Yeah, <laughs> you don't really have to have a plate on there. Do you? you do. You have to have a. Uh, the way Missouri works, you can do a vintage plate or a historic vehicle plate or you can have what's called year manufacturer. So since that's a, a 49 truck, I found a 49 plate. And as long as it didn't, you know, conflict with anything in the system, you know, you can register that plate to that truck forever. So. Oh, you can just, that's, that plate's. Yeah, good to go. That's it. Yep, no more inspections, no more licensing fees, no. nothing. Cool. cool. Well, I know you'll keep it up. So that's, that's the main thing. Do you remember? A tire blowing out or something over here. You know, I can't remember what happened to that uh, that side. Uh, I really don't know. I drove it one night. It was funny because I drove it and I was like, okay, you can drive it now. And on the way back, we ran out of gas. So we had to pull over oh, and fill no. up the gas tank. <laughs> so oh, I was like, good thing we got lights, that extra. lights and everything work okay? Lights Did going. you have to do anything on I put a tail them? light or two in it, you know, a bulb or two in the in the back. But, you know, blinkers all work. The headlights are just what yeah, was Yeah, we were in surprised. Really? And then the, and the dome light on the inside, yeah. it still works. And it's super bright. And the headlights are bright. Yeah. The tail oh, lights are a little bit dim, like if you're coming up on them. I told them it kind of looks like an Amish buggy. Like the yeah. way that... <laughs> the oh, way I that. cannot believe that. <laughs> well, kids, we'll <laughs> see you. Thanks, sir. Good to see you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep, we're really glad to Thank glad you, that, glad that you have it, you too. So we know you'll have fun. You want to drive it? You sure? No, 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 no. 
Okay. You. Uh, <laughs> I think you. No, you, you, you guys uh, enjoy. It's your <laughs> buddy. Well, I appreciate it, and I appreciate the memories. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just the have story, fun with it. I know you will. The story that you gave with it was worth m way more than the truck. His dad brought that yep. off the show. And being able to see it locally, you know, makes it all better for you and those that have that memory of the truck. So. Well, just keep us in mind. I sure will. <laughs> keep us in mind. We'll, we'll see you going up down the road. Okay. We, we know where you're at. You know where to find us. <laughs> Stop yeah. in anytime. Yeah. Oh, I will. We might I'll do that. Ready. You just never know. Yeah.